Sticky jumping. Not only is it fantastically fun, it's incredibly useful as well. In this video, I'll be showing you the basics of sticky jumping. Let's get started. The mechanics of sticky jumping is very easy. All you do is jump, crouch and fire, all at the same time. You do this while standing on top of or running past your already placed sticky bomb. But before you jump, you need to consider where you want to go. If you're trying to do a high jump, try placing yourself right above the sticky bomb as you detonate it. If you're trying to do a long jump, place yourself more in front of the sticky bomb. Another way to do long jumps is to place a sticky on the wall and jump off of that. That will place the blast behind your back instead of under your feet, and this can be useful to travel fast across maps without taking fall damage. The safest way to jump is to only place one sticky bomb, but with some practice using two or even three stickies can get you higher and farther if you space them out properly. Just realize that this may cause you to take more damage, and you're more likely to take fall damage. Also, be aware that three or more stickies right next to each other will kill you. Another thing to keep in mind is the distance you are from the sticky as you detonate it. If you're closer to it, you'll be pushed farther, but you'll take more damage. In regular play, you might not always need to get the absolute maximum boost to clear certain jumps, so it can be more beneficial to stay a bit further away from the sticky. That way you can still make the jump, and you'll have more health left once you reach your destination. It's also a good idea to learn where the health packs are. If you coordinate your jumps with good health pack spots, you can move around incredibly fast and lose little to no health. While you're in the air, make sure you keep crouching through the entire jump. That way you'll fly farther, and it also allows you to air strafe better, that is, controlling your movements and direction while in the air. I've made a separate video dedicated to this topic, but the very basics is that to go left you press the A key while slowly aiming to the left, and to go right you press the D key and slowly aim to the right. This is really all you need to know to start practicing. For the rest of the video, I'll go over a few special items that can be used when sticky jumping, but these are not necessary and are mostly used for fun or when practicing. The base jumper is a parachute that can be deployed when in the air, which will give you more air time and make it easier to strafe mid-air, so if you have one, you can use it to get the feel for air strafing. Just know that this can be dangerous as it leaves you hanging in the air for longer, making you an easier target to hit. Another way to practice is using a weapon called the sticky jumper. This is an alternative to the sticky bomb launcher, which allows you to practice sticky jumping more safely as you take no damage from its projectiles. You will, however, still take fall damage. This can be a good way to practice, but be aware that it won't deal damage to enemies, so if you're using it in regular play, you'll have to rely on your primary and melee weapon. You are also unable to carry the intelligence in Capture the Flag as special delivery games while the Sticky Jumper is equipped, and I personally believe that practicing with the Sticky Jumper can get you into some bad habits, such as jumping too high and far as you're not used to both taking fall damage and projectile damage. That said, the Sticky Jumper does have its uses, and can be fun to break out every once in a while. Of course there's a lot more to learn and more difficult jumping techniques to practice, but now you at least know the basics. Just remember to actually use this in regular play, as it's incredibly useful for moving quickly across a map, as well as getting you to a higher ground which can give you an advantage against the other team. It doesn't take a lot to get a hang of, and before you know it, you'll be whizzing by both teammates and enemies, whether you're headed for a payload cart, the control point, or the enemy's intelligence. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to see my other jumping tutorials, or any other videos I've done, There'll be links to them in the description. Have fun and thank you for watching.